Recently, I uploaded an update for one of my applications. I have received a warning saying you can't submit updates as some information about your app is incomplete. Let us see why am I getting this problem and how to resolve this in order to submit my app update. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. On publishing a new app or any updates to the app, you would be getting the status as in review. But here, even after a day of updating my app, the update status shows ready to send for review. And when I open the app's dashboard, a warning is shown. Updates won't be sent for review until you address the following issues. And the issue is, this release includes the add ID permission, but your declaration on Play Console says the app does not use advertising ID. So you must update your advertising ID declaration in Play Console. So to revise the advertising ID declaration, go to app content page and open the advertising ID form. The same message is shown here also. Go down. See, I have selected option no for the question does your app use advertising ID. So it suggested your manifest file includes the add ID permission. This means your app declares the use of advertising ID. Answer yes or remove this permission from your manifest. Okay, let's see the manifest file of my released app. This is the release build. Open it. Go to Android manifest.xml file. If you see here, my target SDK version is 33. That is Android 13. And add ID permission was added in my final manifest file. I have already uploaded a video on this advertising ID declaration. In that video, I showed you how the add ID permission was added in manifest file and also how to complete the add ID declaration form. So please refer that video. The link uh, for the video I will give in the description box. Okay, come back to play console. My app targets Android 13 devices and add ID permission was also included in the manifest because I am using the mobile ads SDK in my app. So here I have to say yes for this question and that add ID is used by mobile ads SDK for advertising purpose. So here I am selecting the option advertising or marketing. If you are using any other SDK uh, which uses add ID permission for analytics or for in, uh, communications or for any other purpose, you select the option according to your app usage and click save. So now the update status would, would have changed to in review. But still my app shows ready to send for review. Okay, go to the app dashboard. The warning message disappeared, but the status is ready to send for review. Click on go to publishing overview. Here it says changes you make won't be sent for review automatically. And the change was advertising ID declaration updated. So manually send the updates for review. And also turn on managed publishing. See now the status got updated to changes ready to publish and they are in review. Now go back. See the update status is also changed to in review. But this is not the end because now you confirm that your app uses advertising ID. You should also verify your data safety section. Go to data safety section. See here, I answered no for the question, does your app collect or share any of the required user data types? But when you see the list of data types, advertising identifier also mentioned under device or other IDs. So now go back and answer yes for this question because your app uses advertising ID through mobile ads SDK. And answer other questions as per your app functionalities and requirements. Select next. Go to device or other ID section. See here there is a message again for the section target audience and content. Because my app is kids ed educational app, I have to update this section also. If you are not getting this, you need not worry about this. Select device or uh, other IDs, click next and complete this form. And I have also uploaded a video on how to complete the data safety section. Please refer, I will mention that link also in the description box. So finally, select the purpose of using add ID and click save. Go to next, review the details and submit the form. So this way, complete the advertising ID and data safety forms and send them for review before updating or publishing your app which targets Android 13 to avoid any such warnings. 
Hope you understood the reason for this issue and solved it by watching this video. If you think this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to iRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.